Here we have a Tesla Model S with a dead battery in the key fob and we will get it open and running. The entry process in the Model S is unique, although the start process matches that of the Model X. Overall, the open and start processes will take some patience, so take a deep breath. There is no mechanical key or keyhole available in this car. We will need to rely on a recognition process to get inside that is similar to that used to start most keyless start cars. Walking up and trying to open a door fails. The door handles, which can be and had been programmed to extend on the Model S on approach, did not. In the first iteration of the Model S, likely with the black oval grille, the key fob is placed against the passenger side fender, somewhat below and to the right of the Tesla emblem, as shown. The door handles should extend on their own once the fob is recognized, but try a door handle as well and give it some time. We have a second generation Model S. For this car, we will place the back of the key fob near the base of the passenger side windshield wiper. The position shown is the exact spot that worked on the car we tested, and we tried several spots. Then press the driver's door handle. We will now show you in real time the placement of the fob and when the car responded. Place the fob, walk to the driver's door, and test the handle several times. It was a full 20 seconds. Note that you may need to try several fob positions and that the manual, which is locked in the car, suggests removing the battery from the fob as well and trying again until something works. Now in the car, the instrument panel is activated by unlocking and we'll need to place the key fob in a spot that the car can recognize. The manual calls for using the cup holder, but then stepping on the brake, which is a signal to the car that it will be shifted into gear, results in the message key not inside being displayed. We then went straight to the spot near the 12 volt power source near the bottom of the console. Almost immediately, the key not inside message disappears. The location in the video was quite dark, so here is the final fob location. Don't bother with the cup holder. If at any time you feel the need to remove the battery from the fob, You'll need a small thin blade to slip beneath the cover on the back of the fob as shown. The battery cover is the part marked Model S. Once snapped open, it can be removed by hand. The blade will be needed to get beneath the battery as well. Finally, the act of removing the battery from the fob will disable the automatic lock function. So once you have a new battery in the fob, Go to your settings to restore it. It will show as on, so turn it off and back on again to reset. And that's it. You're ready to go. Don't forget to get new batteries for your fobs. For help with other keyless or push button start cars with dead key fobs from this or other manufacturers, look for more videos from us here on YouTube or go to Dashboard Symbols dot com